Hey guys, it's me David, and today we have probably one of the most exciting LEGO Technic sets of 2021. The brand new, the amazing Caterpillar D11T Bulldozer. I have been looking forward to this set all year long. The second I heard about the rumor for this, I was immediately drawn to being able to get my hands on. LEGO did send this set over for review, and man, am I excited for this. Okay, quick little background. So growing up, I had those small little die cast construction equipment toys like the front loader, uh, an excavator, a bulldozer, for example, and I loved those. I absolutely loved playing with them as a kid. So now that this is coming out, an actually officially licensed Caterpillar Lego set, I am thrilled. It's like bringing those die cast sets to life because those were Caterpillar licensed, but Lego and Caterpillar have never worked with each other up until now. And I think a lot of you probably will think back, well, what about Lego City's construction equipment? All of that has been yellow over the last decade or more. And then other Technic sets have been yellow. Haven't those been Caterpillar license sets? No. I mean, I think a lot of people make that connection of yellow construction equipment and Caterpillar that usually goes hand in hand. This is the first truly genuine Lego set that Caterpillar and Lego have worked on together. And it just absolutely is bringing my childhood dream to fruition. I absolutely cannot wait to build this. Now Lego did provide the set for review so I do appreciate them for sending it over. Now the next looming question here is this set is $450. That is a lot of money to pay for a Lego set. So who is this for? Why would you pay $450 for this? Those questions need to be answered. Now, another thing is you are getting 3,800 pieces, which is quite a lot for $450, but it's not as much as other Lego Technic sets. For example, the giant excavator that came out about two years ago in 2019, that is also $450. That also has the Control Plus Bluetooth motorization technology in it, and it has more pieces, and it's also a licensed set. So I think a lot of people are gonna be comparing this bulldozer to the excavator and saying, why would I pay the same amount for the bulldozer to get less pieces when compared to the excavator? So. That is also another question I wanna answer at the end of this review. Lots to talk about here, but at the same time, it's so thrilling to finally see that Caterpillar logo and Lego logo on the same box. So without you, let's take a look at this set. All right, now diving into this D11T Caterpillar bulldozer. Immediately, I am starstruck by the design. It is incredible. It really is. It's it's something that catches your eye anywhere in your leg room. And I'm very, very impressed with the overall way this bulldozer looks. And it is definitely up there in one of the biggest Lego Technic sets. Not necessarily the tallest, not necessarily the widest, but it's just overall big. Taking a look at some of the stickers, you'll notice there's Caterpillar logos all over this thing. So there's no mistake that it is Caterpillar branded and licensed. Now going into the operator's cabin of the bulldozer, both sides open up. They both have functioning doors. There's a seat with the Caterpillar sticker in the middle. There's stickers all around for control panels. Uh, there's some joysticks to operate the bulldozer. There's definitely a lot of small details that you have to really look closely for, but they are there, which is very impressive. For example, the Caterpillar logo here on the very front, you just barely might notice that. That is indeed a sticker. Unfortunately, it's not a printed piece. I do wish that was a printed uh, tile right there. But overall, this bulldozer is really quite something. Taking a look at those brand new tracks, this is a special mold for this set as of 2021 when I'm making this review. This is a brand new track piece. It's very interesting how you attach it to the bulldozer actually there's this mechanism to push the forward wheel in and out so that way you can tighten and loosen the tracks and this is great because there's no extra track pieces like you might have on other technic sets they're all going to be utilized and i gotta say it's a wonderful mechanism and it's actually how the real d11 works in terms of its treads as well now taking a look underneath the bulldozer you'll see the drivetrain and the transmission system Quite a lot going on. And then this is also how you can access your battery box. So if the batteries die, it's very easy to switch them out. It does take six AA batteries. I'm not sure exactly what the battery life is on this. You can probably get at least, I imagine, 25, maybe 10 minute runs before the batteries run out. Now taking a closer look at some of those other details, there's floodlights all over this bulldozer, giving it just that much more detail. 
There's a lot of railing alongside the back area covering the cabin. That's to actually protect the operator and the real version of the Caterpillar bulldozer. So overall, I'm very impressed with the design. The black and yellow makes for a very nice contrasting tone for the bulldozer. Now moving on to size comparisons, just to give you an idea of how big this thing is, I have the 2021 UCS Star Wars Republic gunship. And as you can see, the bulldozer isn't as long as the gunship or isn't as wide, but it definitely comes close. Now it's comparing it to a recent Technic set, I have the heavy duty tow truck. The tow truck is actually just as long as the bulldozer, but in terms of width, the bulldozer absolutely has it completely beat. It's not even a competition. I will say though, the heavy duty tow truck does hold its own in terms of its size and capabilities for $150 compared to this $450 set. So now on to my favorite part of this review, the motorization of the D11T bulldozer using Lego's Control Plus system. This is using Bluetooth, so you'll need a phone or tablet to connect. The app, you just download it, it's a free app. Connect it to the Bluetooth hub of the bulldozer, and then it'll go through a guide system showing all the different functionalities like this mapping system to map out your bulldozer and actually create a path. But what you most likely will do most of the time is actually just use the normal control panel. And there's actually two variations of the control panel that you can use, one with a giant thumbstick and one that actually mimics the real look of the D11 control panel in the real bulldozer. I definitely prefer the giant thumbstick. This is now the version that is more realistic of how the real bulldozer operates. And both are actually pretty intuitive. You can learn both in probably five to 10 minutes. It's a very, very small learning curve. You can have a lot of fun with either control panel. It's up to you. There is a lot going on here. You know, it might be a little bit uh, daunting when you first look at it, but once you start playing around and once you go through the app tutorial, it really is quite simple and you'll be up and running in no time to get your bulldozer going and pushing anything you can imagine. Now what I'm showing is the blade going up and down, and then next you can actually tilt the blade in and out. Now this is done with one functioning motor. It has to switch the transmission drive system to control each of these things. They're not all active at the same time. So do keep that in mind. If you're sitting there waiting for something to happen, it does take a few seconds before it actually engages. It's the same case with the back thumb. And then also the ladder of the bulldozer actually is motorized. It's another switch you have to initiate that does go up and down, a very neat feature. Now we're gonna go ahead and transition into a montage showing off this Caterpillar bulldozer. Thank you. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that montage, especially the gunship being pushed by the bulldozer. There is one more thing I just want to mention is that those Technic sets I was talking about earlier, those two yellow Technic motorized power function sets, they run for $700 and $600 brand new in the box now, 10 years later. All right, so now going into final thoughts. Look, this thing is incredible looking. I have to say the designer knocked it out of the park with this Caterpillar bulldozer. It looks just like the D11. I'm very impressed with that. It, it is the best Lego Technic bulldozer by far ever made to this point. Honestly, I don't know how you can get even more detail out of this. It's incredible with all the details that are already here. Without even turning it on and using the motorization, it's a beautiful display piece to put in with your Lego collection. However, it is $450, and that is a very, very big hefty price tag for about a 3,800 piece set, especially when you're comparing to like the Lieber Excavator, which I'll show here in just a minute it definitely is overpriced and and that's unfortunate you know this being the first official caterpillar lego licensed set it's unfortunate that it's so overpriced but yet so beautiful now in terms of the motorization and the functionality i love it, it it's great everything functions correctly obviously you can tilt the blade you can bring it up you can use the back tiller and you can motorize the front ladder to get into the bulldozer like everything is there i love that and the torque motors for the drivetrain work very well now the app itself is a little unintuitive, but it's supposed to mimic like the real D11 controls. So it works. Now in total, I probably spent about 10 hours on the build for this, which is pretty long for less than 4,000 pieces. So if you've been a long-term Lego Technic fan, another bulldozer that was made that I absolutely love was, I think it's the set number is 8275. It was just called the Lego Technic Bulldozer. It was actually the Technic set that introduced power functions at a very reasonable price too. I think it was only about 200, $250, something like that. However, it is so much smaller, so less detailed compared to this, and that wasn't even a licensed set. Maybe I'm just old school, but I would prefer an actual real controller, and I feel like they can do that. They can make a Bluetooth Lego remote control that can connect with Control Plus so that it all works. I think that that is something very possible. So that way you have the option of using either a controller or a mobile phone. I really wish Lego would do that for Control Plus. They're only gonna do that if they hear us give feedback. So if you want a real controller, let Lego know. Call their customer service, let them know in those surveys. Tell them that you want a Control Plus controller uh, instead of using your smartphone because honestly the steps involved grabbing your phone and having to sync all that up having to do firmware updates it's just annoying the other concern i do have with control plus is its longevity this is something that actually came up with me in this review while i was you know using the bulldozer i didn't realize that the beta app that lego had sent me was only working on ios 14 and when i went to go update apple's new ios 15 which they do every single year the app didn't work it said it needs to be updated by the developer and while i'm 100 positive the developer will update control plus to work on ios 15 it just shows in the long term of things you know if it's 10 years from now, you still got this bulldozer, you go to the app and it's not working anymore because maybe Lego has moved on to something else. You don't have a bulldozer that works anymore. So that's frustrating knowing that in the longevity of this set, you may not be able to control it just because it doesn't sync with an app that works properly on whatever future smartphone you might have 10, 20 years from now. And look, I, I realize it's a minor case where not that many people would do that, but it's just something to keep in the back of your mind that if you're paying $450, it's not guaranteed that 10, 15, 20 years from now, it'll still be working. It's just really unfortunate. And once again, just proves my point that Lego needs to make a real operational controller that functions with this hub. Otherwise, the longevity of this set is limited. All right, so I've gone ahead and grabbed my Lybar 9800 Excavator set off my shelf just to compare it to the Bulldozer. As you can see, they both take up about the same footprint, which is good. You know, you don't want the Bulldozer to be too big, otherwise you won't be able to fit it on a shelf. That was a big problem with the Star Wars UCS gunship this year, where a lot of people just can't buy it because it won't fit in a particular space. I think the Bulldozer is going to be far more space efficient. It, it should fit on most shelves. Same goes with the Excavator here. So both sets here are $450. They're both going to be on sale. I don't know when the Excavator is going to be retired. I imagine it will be probably retired sometime in either late 2021 or early 2022. I don't 
know if LEGO wants to have two $450 Technic sets on sale at the same time. In terms of play functions, I would absolutely choose the Bulldozer over the Excavator. While the Excavator has more going on with its motors and functionalities, the Bulldozer can actually push things. Whereas with the Excavator, it is extremely hard to actually go in and scoop up LEGO bricks. It's not easy, it's not intuitive. You can just take anything and basically push it with the bulldozer. You can put actual dirt, you can put Lego bricks, you can put Lego sets. You can have so much more fun pushing things around with the bulldozer than you can excavating with the Livar excavator. So practically it's more of like a fun showcase with its motorization. Whereas with the bulldozer, you can actually practically push stuff and it's not just a showcase, you know, moving things around. You can actually do things with the bulldozer. So at the end of the day, in terms of the Lego experience, you're getting far more with the excavator. However, I'd say in the long term of playability and looks, the bulldozer does have it beat. So in conclusion, this is my favorite Lego Technic set ever made. That's right, it, it is my favorite. It beats every single one. However, it's overpriced. It should have been $400. 450 is just too much for the amount of pieces and the amount of motors and the functionality that you're getting out of this set. It's just overpriced at $450. 400 would have been far more reasonable. Hopefully this gave you guys some insight. Thanks to Lego for sending this for review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out all my other LEGO Technic reviews. That's going to be it. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later.